What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at Tarnish Metal, a ARC scout rifle that was introduced during Season of Plunder for Destiny 2. Probably one of the most sought after weapons during the season and for damn good reason. It's a lightweight frame scout and when we look at the base stats here, we have a fairly decent amount of impact. We have a okay-ish range and stability stat which we're going to try and increase and make better. And then last but not least, we have really, really good handling on this weapon, which is one of the reasons why it feels so good to use, so responsive, and we also have fairly decent reload speed. Looking at the PvP side of things first, we are going to want Arrowhead Break as our barrel. This is going to allow us to completely crush the bounce intensity aka the recoil that we see from this weapon and that coupled with the handling and the small changes we make to stability as well as the small increase we get from arrowhead break to handling is just going to make this feel like an extremely stable consistent weapons platform we also put steady rounds in there which gives us even more stability it loses a little bit of range but gives us some airborne effectiveness now let's be honest the airborne effectiveness is not that big a deal what we want is that 15 stability there because that is just going to get us to almost halfway to 100 stability and again it's going to lead to the gun feeling incredibly heavy in your hands and making it feel more easy for you to land those shots because it'll feel like the gun has weight and that you can control the recoil so very well now in our trade one and two we go with staples in the pvp side of things we absolutely want to be using moving target as our first trade this increases our movement speed and our target acquisition when we are moving around and aiming down sights which is generally what you do when you play with a scout in crucible absolutely you should not be standing still people who stand still fucking die but if you ads and you move around and you bob and weave to the side maybe do a quick jump or something like that that is going to engage moving uh target and you're going to be able to benefit off the effects of that trait while putting fire down range and hitting enemies now in our secondary trait we want to be using explosive payload explosive payload essentially you know shares some of the damage up to 50 percent with targets around the main target that you're hitting and this is going to help you with situations where enemies might be trying to hold a point and you have two or three guardians that are stacked on top of one another maybe you're playing a specific mode that is for holding a certain area and then you can absolutely benefit from the fact that you'll be dealing some of your damage to the enemies around the enemy that you're shooting and that means that once you down the guy that you're aiming at that you're engaging first it'll mean the follow-up kills on those other guys will be that that much easier now our origin trait here honestly in pvp is not phenomenal basically what right hook does is that when you deal melee damage it gives the weapon that you're holding additional target acquisition and range this can be beneficial in a situation where you are very close to an enemy you shoot them once and then finish them off with a melee and then you aim down range and there's a bunch of enemies down there and you're going to benefit from this effect but generally speaking not that helpful in pvp we are going to be slapping in the range masterwork here without that the range of this weapon is fairly low it's around 30 out of 100 which is not that great this doesn't get us that much higher it puts us to 35 but nonetheless anything we can put back into the tank to give us a little bit more range to engage from would be good that's really in my opinion the only downfall of this scout rather is the fact that we have fairly limited range which is kind of strange for a scout rifle which generally is considered at a medium to almost long range weapon when you engage with it last but not least we put counterbalance stock in there which is a you know familiar choice for anybody going into pvp that is just going to further on mess with that bounce intensity crush it in even more and just make the weapon feel that much more stable then getting us over to pve and where this weapon truly shines we're going to be using arrowhead break just as we did in pvp simply due to the fact that we want that recoil control we want to make the weapon feel more stable but we are going to be using Akrise rounds because we're going to be addressing this range issue. We're just going to put a bit more range onto the weapon so that we can engage from further away. Now, in our first trait here, we are going to be using Demolitionist. This is our primary weapon we are going to be using to clean out trash, to clean out lesser enemies. So we're able to drop those guys really, really fast. And each one of them that you kill gets you more grenade energy. Also, when you activate your grenade, of course, you also reload this weapon, which is just another way that you can play around with it. But nonetheless, this is a fantastic way for you to get grenade energy back. And all of you Arc Titans out there with your Storm Grenades is perfect to pair with this weapon, just due to the fact that you want as many Storm Grenades as possible, and this helps you get to those Storm Grenades quicker. 
Now, in our secondary trait, we find the reason why this weapon is so good, and that is Vault Shot. Vault Shot is unique in Season of Plunder. Basically, how it works is that essentially after you kill an enemy if you reload you'll see vault shot proc and you'll have a certain amount of time that you can shoot and the first target that you hit with that next bullet jolts that that's going to do a chain lightning effect through all of the targets around it it's going to put the jolt debuff on them and this is a phenomenal way for you to carve your way through large groups of enemies as you'll basically just be ripping them up completely with the opness that is arc in season of plunder we are going to be using the same origin trait because it's not as if we have a choice. Right hook here basically giving us increased target acquisition and range. If we melee something, again, not you know groundbreaking in PvE, but certainly easier to pull off than it is in PvP. Then in our masterwork, absolutely, we are going to be sticking with the range masterwork because we want that additional bit of range that we can squeeze into the weapon. This version of the tarnished metal has more range than the PvP version, which means that you'll feel safer at engaging from further distances away, which also makes it easier for you to control the fight better and to capitalize on vault shot more. And then last but not least, since this is our trash killing weapon, we want to be dropping those guys as fast as possible. So we cycle demolitionist and more grenades. And also so that we get our vault shot proc more often, we are going to be putting minus spec in there, which just helps us deal 8% more damage to trash. This weapon chews through ads and it is phenomenal in this configuration. I urge you to try it out if you haven't yet. I doubt you'll put anything else in your second slot for the rest of the season. Then as usual, here you have the one-stop cheat sheet where you can simply just take a screenshot of both the PvE and the PvP build for the weapon that we discussed in this video. And that's also going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I'm definitely a little bit late to the tarnished metal train, but it took me forever to get that final red box to drop so that I could craft my own version of this. And once I was able to do that and create the two versions, which I just shared with you, this gun really has taken over my loadout and I've had so much fun with it. So absolutely give it a try if you haven't yet. Otherwise, let me know if you have any other juicy combinations of this to try. But other than that, it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning, afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world. And until next video, fucking cheers. They want the best of me now. Best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me.